The fifth rule to have in fast skis, and the last piece of the ski tuning puzzle, is going to be wax selection. Um, the most expensive racing waxes, the high floral waxes, are going to have the most hydrophobic elements in the wax, which is going to help the ski glide faster than, let's say, a hydrocarbon. But if you ignore the last four rules that we've talked about, having the best wax isn't really going to be that big of a difference maker. However, if you employ all five of these rules together and you have the best wax, now you're putting this, all these pieces together and you're going to have the most fundamental, um, fastest skis that you can possibly have. Keep in mind, when you're waxing, is the hydrocarbon waxes are basically a cousin to the base material of the skis. And the hydrocarbon wax will bond very easily with the base material. Uh, the high floral race waxes, uh, the fluoros don't bond that great with base material. And they won't bond very well to hydrocarbon waxes either. So I would say if you have a dedicated pair of race skis that you know you're only using for racing all the time, I would seriously consider only using high floral waxes on those skis. And what's going to happen is over time you're going to build the floral content of the base material up. And when you wax, the floros are going to bond to the floros and give you better durability, which means the wax is going to last longer. Now, if you wax a hydrocarbon all the time, and then you put a race high floral wax on top of that, it's not going to bond that great. And the durability won't be very good at all. In fact, you might only get three quarters or maybe one run out of the wax application at 100% effectiveness. Now, one thing to remember when you're making your wax selection is just keep it simple. Uh, but the wax companies, especially Twix, they spend a lot of time on research and development. They have a, a team of guys that go out into the field and work with the national team technicians and also the companies to formulate the best mixture of waxes for the different conditions. Um, they spend far more time and far more money than you could ever do. And so my advice to you is just follow their waxing chart and you're going to have the fastest skis that you possibly can. High floor waxes are really expensive. And if that is the case, if it's not in your budget to be using high floor wax all the time, just simply use an LF.